and a SWAT standoff at a Southeast Houston motel. Several hours and one robotic dog later, officers were able to take a naked suspect into custody. Well, good morning to you. I'm Melanie Lawson. Now, this was one of the most bizarre standoffs we've seen in quite a while. So joining us with more details is ABC 13's Jonathan Bruce. Jonathan, I know you watched all of this unfold. Tell us about the parts you can show us. Melanie, it was definitely a strange situation for SWAT officers. And actually, as we watched all of this play out, there were things in the newsroom we made the decision to put on air and things we did not show. You'll see why in just a minute. It is all over now, though, with the man in custody. Custody facing at least three charges for aggravated assault. Now, it all started around two this morning. Here we go. Police say a 911 caller said the man was walking around to different rooms armed with a pistol and a knife. When officers got there and found him, he immediately started screaming, they said. Then they saw what they believe was the gun inside his room. That's when they called the SWAT team. So we're rolling at this point. And around 6:20, we saw SWAT deploy this yellow police robot. And take a look as the suspect comes out completely naked and grabs the robot and pulls it into his room. It may seem like the worst case scenario for officers, but they actually told us this could all be part of the plan. You know, suspects have grabbed before, but we still get what we need. We get intelligence. We get eyes into the room. Uh, information is powerful for us. We want to know what we're, what we're seeing, what we're going, getting ready to go into. So it's, it's either way, it, it actually works out for us. Sometimes they pull them in. We're getting what we want. So. Far from done at that point, though. Just before 8 o'clock this morning, we spotted another police robot, the second one. Suspect coming to his window with a cell phone before retreating back into his room. No, uh, no damage to either one, so we were, we were lucky there. Um, but like I said, that's their purpose, right? Um, the human life is more valuable, and we'll, we'll put technology at risk any time that allows us to, you know, peacefully conclude a scene like this. And then finally, around 8:45, with all eyes, our cameras, and the whole newsroom following it, the man came out wearing shorts and a backpack with his hands up, surrendering. Officials say he did admit to smoking methamphetamine earlier on in the evening. As I said, we covered every step as much as we were able to on our ABC 13 stream. Investigators do tell us that the suspect had previous run-ins with their mental health division. Melanie, fortunately, in all of this, no one, even the robots, were hurt. One of the wildest stories I've heard in a long time, Jonathan. Every fact is just more amazing than the last. But you're right. Glad Absolutely. it all ended peacefully. Yeah. Thanks so much.